When it comes to creating a multi-layered soundtrack, I rely heavily on commercial sound effects libraries in addition to my own collection of recordings. And when libraries consist of thousands of sounds, it becomes paramount to have an effective way to categorize, search, and ingest those sounds into your DAW. And this is where Basshead really comes into play. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and see how Basshead integrates with Pro Tools on a Macintosh. And that starts with creating a database. Hit Command N to create a new database. I'm going to name it Gelzo Master Sound Effects and save it to my database folder. You can see our new database currently selected. Click on the drop down to view and load other databases if present. To scan sounds into our database, hit Command I to pull up the import window. I like checking decapitalized descriptions to keep results consistent looking. I also check remove duplicate words, a discrepancy I've run across enough. Next, select a folder or files to scan by pressing select. I like to create multiple imports according to primary commercial libraries. I'll import Hollywood Edge, another Boom Library, and my Digital Juice Library. This keeps things tidy and makes it easy to perform rescans in case you add new material to a folder. If I add an additional sound effects bundle under the Boom brand, I just hit the rescan button and Basehead will reference the new additions. You can also assign group associations to sounds, which might cross over multiple libraries and imports. Say we have multiple libraries which contain vehicle kits. We can designate those different imports and assign them to a vehicle's group. So later, we can select our vehicle's group and quickly reference like sounds across any number of libraries. Just select a previously created group via the group dropdown or create a new group via the add group option. You can also create any number of groups within the peak tree window. I'm gonna create a new group called whooshes. So when I come across a really great whoosh, I can drag and drop the files onto my Wushes group or associate the group to a file via the details panel on the right. This way I can reference my go-to Wush sounds very quickly. When it comes to searching, there's search fields to choose from consisting by default, a description, file name, or category field. Hitting Command plus D, F, or G can quickly determine the field type to search under. I'm going to search under the description field for truck. Basehead will populate the results window with any file whose description contains that word. If I search pickup truck, then Basehead will do an AND search and populate results that now contain both words. If I add a minus sign before pickup truck, then it'll populate any file that contains truck but doesn't contain pickup. With results populated, we have the option to choose what metadata we'd like to see. Customize it however you'd like, or just reset it back to the default values. Cycling through sounds, we notice any previously played sounds will be grayed out. Under the Details tab to the right, we have access to specifics of the current selected sound. Under the Rename tab, we can modify naming under the Process tab. We can scan for plugins and set up a plugin chain to preview sounds through. The bottom, we have a generated waveform display of a current selected sound. To pause play, press the spacebar. To keep hands free from the mouse, press command plus right or left arrow to skip around the file in increments. To restart the file from the start, hit the apostrophe or escape keys. To select play a specific portion of a sound, mouse click and drag a region. You can select and play increasingly smaller selections of a sound. To revert to a previous selection, press the Z key or A to revert back to the whole file. For low level sounds, you can increase the waveform intensity using Option plus the scroll to pinpoint any offending transients. Above the waveform, there's transport functions, enabling, disabling, looping of zoomed regions, auto play on off, Toggle Playback Forward or Reverse, Continuous Playback, Shuffle, and Timecode Displays. Below, we can pitch content up or down. 
to the right, volume and pan sliders. Moving left, trigger random playback. When used to populating the same list of sounds, this option gives way for hearing less likely sampled sounds. Just keep hitting shift question mark to trigger sounds at random. Next, we can open the folder containing our current selection. For the hotkey, press O. This button allows copying a file directly to the transfer path. To designate a path, hit Ctrl T or navigate to the Actions drop-down menu. With the path set, hit this button or hit the C key to copy files over. If working within a self-contained Pro Tools project, you'll want any ingested sounds to be copied to the Pro Tools Audio Files folder. However, it's easier to drag and drop the Pro Tools PTX file right to the results window. This will immediately link Basehead to the Audio Files folder. Open File and Wave Editor icon enables quickly sending a sound file into an audio editing app of our choosing. Designate a Wave Editing app within the Options page under Wave Editor. Then select a file, press that icon or hit W to bring it into your Wave Editor for quick manipulation. Selecting a file or region of such, hit S to spot it to wherever your cursor lies in the timeline. We can also select a file and then click and drag into our session via the D&D bar or the drag and drop bar. Lastly, we have the tag list button. Highlight sounds you like, press the tag list icon or T key to tag. Then hold down the option key and click the D&D bar and drag all tagged files at once into Pro Tools. Lastly, let's look at the Options tab to be briefly familiarized with under the hood settings. At the top, Basehead shows the current database location as well as a linked Wave Editor application. Moving on, we have the Target App settings. When loading up a project, Basehead can automatically sniff out the Audio Files folder with the Follow Session Folder option enabled. If you've designated a different folder to work from, you can select the auto switching option and Basehead will remember whatever path you've selected. So you could manually associate different paths relating to a variety of PT sessions. Upon opening each project, Basehead will remember the path and auto switch accordingly. Some common settings are the bring to foreground option, which when checked, Auto switches your view back to your DAW after spotting a sound file. Uncheck when wanting to search and spot multiple files before bringing the DAW back into view. With Spot with Handles, you can initially select a region within a sound, ingesting that portion alone but includes the option to drag out the head or tail of the clip if you have the need. Spot multiple files in line will spot the files one after another in horizontal order. If unchecked, the order will be vertical. Under miscellaneous, we can enable having our searches auto-completed. When searching for sounds, libraries use different metadata designations for naming their files, so the difference between finding the right sound is down to using the right words. And with the, the source function enabled, Typing words will bring up other similar meaning but differently spelled words to help populate perhaps unconventionally named files. Let's talk a little more about the peak tree window before we wrap things up. The peak tree to me is mission control. Helps to quickly navigate and search within various imports or groups, as well as being able to quickly see past keyword searches and the ability to see previously auditioned files. If you've auditioned countless sounds but realized many plays back, there was probably a sound that would have worked. Simply look down your past playlist to quickly re-audition the sounds. A few more things to note about the peak tree. Firstly, you don't have to have the peak tree clogging up space. Simply toggle open or close via the top left triangle icon. Or just hit E on your keyboard. If we access settings via the gear icon, we can adjust more parameters. We can determine what options we want visible, clear past playlist auditions, recent searches, or even notate how many of each can be viewable by selecting the drop-down for 10, 20, etc. 
Enabling the Libraries option is perfect when wanting to create virtual folders of files for eventual export. For example, let's create a new virtual folder via the plus sign, name it Norman BG Background Polls. Within it, create a new folder by double clicking and naming it Outdoor Atmos. Then create another naming it Indoor Atmos. We'll search and find a few outdoor ambiences, toss them into the outdoor folder, find some indoor atmospheres and toss them into the indoor folder. Then if we're done pulling files, just determine the transfer path. Hit the additional gear icon, press export library and all virtual library assets will be physically copied over where specified. Basehead is truly a powerful and flexible way to scan, search, manipulate and ingest sounds into your DAW helping to make sound editing much more efficient and centering the focus on sound design, not the hassle of maneuvering through an unorganized chaos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.